Welcome to another tech video. Today we've got a Dell Inspiron laptop, no working Wi-Fi. All right, so as you can see, we've got a problem down here where um, we're not joined to Wi-Fi, but if you click on the globe, we don't get anything at all for uh, our Wi-Fi card that's in the system. If we go to our uh, device manager uh, down here, we should see it. So although we've got an unknown USB device, that's fine. Uh, what we are interested in is under our network adapters. So nothing at all for uh, our Wi-Fi card. So it looks like the Wi-Fi card is not working in this. I think what I'm probably going to do is... Uh... Okay, so, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace the card. We'll try and replace the card and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, put the towel down. The only reason for that is it stops us, uh, stops any scratches on the top case. You turn the device over and you want to get yourself a small Phillips screwdriver. And we're going to remove all of the screws around. And then the two in the corner here. We'll push the uh, push the case up, which then gives us the ability to lift it up. I think what we'll do is we'll get a little prize at all just to give us a helping hand. That's it. There we go, and that should just lift off like that. Okay, and inside here's our Wi-Fi card. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the battery. Like that. I'm just going to open it up and press the power button. Make sure all the power is discharged. Okay, so next we're going to take off this little protective cap. Like that. And then we can see our two aerials here. So we've got a black and a white. So we're going to take a small pair of pliers and see if we can get underneath and just lift these off. It should just pop up. There we go. That's that one. So the black one goes in position one and the white one goes in position two. I'm going to remove that card. And then we're going to take our replacement card, which was from eBay. Thank you very much to the seller for that. £9.75. OK, so we're going to get our wireless LAN card now put back in. We'll remove those aerials for now. Okay, and white was two. Okay, finally got the aerials in. So now we can get the little cap put back on. Like that. That was tricky getting them on. Get our battery reconnected. Then we get the lid put back on. I'm not going to tighten it up just yet. But let's now see. If we can see the Wi-Fi card. 
All right, so now it's booted back up into Windows. Let's have a look to see what's going on with our device manager. If we go into properties again, scroll down to device manager. Okay, so our USB, whatever that was, that's now resolved itself. But if we go into our network adapters, there we go, we can see we've got Bluetooth and our wireless LAN. So that seems to have cured that. Let's now click on back on our globe. Okay, yep, so we've got availability now. So uh, looks like the Wi-Fi card was faulty. So made the right decision to spend £9.75 or whatever it was. So let's now just go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi. And that's connected without any problems at all. So what we're going to do now is we can shut down. And then once that's shut down, we can go ahead and redo up the base. And then lastly, the two in the corners to pull the base back down in the, at the back of it. And there we have a fixed and resolved laptop and Wi-Fi working. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.